my fellow Extraordinary Americans, my name is Cosmos and this is Extraordinary America. What is Extraordinary America about? Extraordinary America is about the abolition of financial slavery. It is about the financial freedom of the 99%. It is also about an empath-based America as well. Why? Well, you see, the entire thing about what it is to be America, American and uh, what America is about has always been freedom, pursuit of happiness, and opportunity for a better life. Ha however, most of us, most of us Americans have not been having that. Most of us have been going through a form of financial slavery, right? There has been a massive amount of wealth and income inequality in this nation for a long time, right? Many people are just living one paycheck to another, barely able to make ends meet. And now due to this coronavirus pandemic, millions of us have actually lost our jobs, right? And then uh, moreover, Right? There's a system of stagnant wages combined with inflation of prices, which has led to the reduction of our purchasing power and our overall wealth, which has led to the disappearing of our middle class. And when you combine this with us having to take on debt, right, which is spend now and pay later in order to maintain our lifestyle, this leads to a form of financial slavery or financial bondage. Right? And to put the icing in the cake in the right now we're going through what is known as like an economic depression and very soon there's going to be a hyperinflation of our currency due to the massive printing of our fiat money right because the banks and the government are printing money in massive amounts and right now we're in a depression but when things start getting slightly better this will uh, lead to inflation of prices in our daily life such as in groceries or the gas station or whatever and this will lead to complete financial poverty or financial misery hence what is what is extraordinary america about extraordinary america is about the abolition of financial slavery and it's about the financial freedom of the 99 percent we do not work for money we make money work for us right moreover it is also about bringing america back to a state of empathy and choosing empathy over narcissism as well right and regarding the financial part, how is this to be done, right? In the short term, this is to be done through uh, investing in tangible assets such as gold, silver, or cryptocurrencies, which are inflation, which will retain the purchasing power of your money in times of inflation. And in the long term, this is to, achieve, be, to be achieved by number one, entrepreneurship and investing on the light side, right? Transformation of the 99%. So entrepreneurship and investing on the light side. Number two, the creation of spiritual economic institutions led by Jedipreneurs that lead to the transformation of the 99% uh, and lead to their financial freedom and also give them the five essentials of food, clothes, shelter, housing, and education, right? Uh, like healthcare and education. And then the third point is basically the replacement of the debt-based fiat monetary system with the humanity upliftment standard or the american dream standard now in today's video i wanted to just have a quick video to talk about um a thing called a thing about like two roads and two americas right this comes from a fact that basically uh, i read a poem a long time ago called the road not taken by robert frost and in that poem basically what it is about is about these two roads and a man is standing over there and there's these two roads, right? And one path is taken by a lot of people, right? Most people have taken this one path and there's like footsteps going along this path. And then there's another path, right? Where it's the, there's a road which with very few footsteps, which very few people have taken. And what Robert Frost basically implies in the poem is that he wanted to take the road that is less traveled or the road that is less taken or not taken for the most part. And he goes through that road and basically his entire life changes as a result. But there's like a bit of a mystery as to how that basically happens. Like what is a change? But basically it's a total transformation or change, right? And what I'm trying to tell you is that right now in America, there's a choice, right? Of two roads. One is the road of narcissism and one is and the law of ego and one is the road of empathy or the law of one right basically empath an empath based financially free america and a narcissist based financially enslaved america and what do i mean right now most people have taken are on the road where where of like the law of ego right like america is right now in a state of 
narcissism, right? Where most people have now become selfish or self-centered, right? And you see this in our politics as well, in our economy and in everything, right? We basically become more self-centered and more materialistic in nature. And that is the road that has been taken by a, a lot of people, most people have not, right? Right now, the chaos that is going on in our nation and also in our politics is due to the narcissism between the right and the left, right? Basically, the conservatives and the liberals, and they do not see that within each, they see that within each other, but they do not see it within themselves, right? But basically, in essence, it America is basically one family with the masculine and the feminine, the father and the mother, and then all of the children. But we are at the moment in the road that is most taken, that is the road of narcissism. And let's be clear. Following the law of ego is really easy to do, right? Because it's really easy to do something that is selfish and self-centered. But what takes will and what takes effort or what we call delayed gratification is a road that is less taken. The road that leads to empathy and understanding another person's point of view or understanding the masculine and the feminine and the co-harmony with which it is supposed to exist, right? A sense of coordinated cooperation rather than competition that is going on right now. And I'm imploring you, my audience, to basically choose the road that is less taken. And that is the road of empathy, right? To come from a place where you understand that our nation is basically a family, right? And you have the father and you have the mother and you have the children, right? And the ideal is obviously a law of one based empath society that is based on financially freeing each other, right? Because right now poverty is essentially a major factor and that is a priority, right? But reality is we are not we are now in a place of narcissism and financial enslavement. And what do we do practically for that? What do we do in order to start taking the road that's less taken? And that would be to choose the empath within us, right? Because as I told in my last video and the previous videos before this, there is an empath and then there's a narcissist. There is like empathy and a soul within us, and then there's the ego, right? One tends to want to one is different from the other. One likes to control, the other wants to liberate, right? One is about interconnectedness and the other is about domination. And it's about, and it's all within us, right? Different people have different shades, right? Some of us are 40% empath, 60% narcissist. Some of us are 60% or 70% empath, 30 or 40% narcissist. We are in a diff, we're in 50 shades of different versions of empathy and narcissism, right? And that's fine, right? It's we, we are we are humans and we have human nature and we're all flawed to a certain extent and that's fine. But what I'm saying is that I implore all of you to choose the empathy within us, right? The empath within us and try to steer it in that direction. And not just that, strive towards financial freedom by investing in yourself, believing in yourself and uh, trying to get out of this no matter what, right? And then from there, inspiring and helping others to do so. Because only when that happens and large amount of people start to do that can actual change happen. And I know what you're going to say, right? Like everything, things are difficult and things are looking grim right now. And I agree, right? But we have to keep that fire within us and we need to keep fighting no matter how hopeless the odds are against us, right? And the odds can be really impossible at times. But I'm myself and others as well, we are not prone to giving up. We're prone to keep fighting on even if the odds are gonna be against us. And that is how change occurs, right? Even when things seem hopeless, we still continue to fight on. And that is what I want to tell you, right? That it might seem like the narcissism is overtaking our nation and it is overtaking us, but that's not the case. There's always a choice to keep fighting and to keep uniting, right? To be the change that we want to see in the world. And we start that with ourselves and then we try to inspire it amongst others. And then we start creating a ripple effect. And that's how change occurs, right? So I want to just shoot a quick video today to just implore you to take the road that is less taken, right? Because we, and in turn, get America to choose the road that is less taken. And that is the empath-based financially free America, aka an extraordinary America, because that is what it should have been all the time, right? I conclude this video um, by uh, by saying that if you like if you like this channel and the videos in it, please subscribe to it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Take care.